Hi everyone, welcome to Storytime with Anna Lynn. Today's story is Cammy Kangaroo Has Too Much Stuff. Written by Stacy C. Bauer and illustrations by Rebecca Sinclair. It was lunchtime at the kangaroo house. Taking another bite of her salad, Cammy thought about how much fun she was going to have at her cousin Savannah's party later that day. Your room needs to be clean before we head to Savannah's party, Cammie, Daddy Kangaroo reminded her. <sighs> okay, Cammie sighed. She was not excited to clean her room. Cammie's room was full of treasures, rocks, shells, feathers, toys, Cammie loved them all. She loved collecting them, sorting them, and building with them. Cammie peeked inside her pouch. She pulled out a brown button that had fallen off her sweater, a copper coin from Daddy, and a chipped blue block she had found in the yard. Hmm, Cammie said, what should I make with these? Her mind overflowed with ideas. How's it going, Cammie? Mommy called up the stairs. Is your room clean yet? We have to leave at one if we're going to be on time for the party. Cammie groaned and started cleaning. What could that be? My favorite bell? Cammie put the bell inside her pouch and slowly continued cleaning. Suddenly, she gasped. <gasps> Savannah had asked her to give back her stuffed puppy. She had to find it. She picked up the bucket of shells. Maybe Savannah's puppy was in there. Cammie dumped the shells out. Nope. But she did find two pretty pink shells that were quickly added to her pouch. Maybe the puppy was in the closet. Cammie tugged at the door, but it didn't budge. Taking a deep breath, <gasps> Cammie yanked on it as hard as she could. Uh-oh. Ugh, she groaned. Ugh. She kicked out her legs and clambered to her feet. I have to clean my room and find that puppy, she thought with a frown. As she hopped toward a pile of blankets, Cammie heard a muffled giggle coming from beneath it. She began digging. Suddenly, her brother popped out. Wyatt, Cammie exclaimed, pulling him from the heap of blankets. Cammie was showing Wyatt some of her favorite rocks. When she heard the door open, she quickly slipped the rocks into her pouch. It's time to go. Daddy shoved the door open and hopped inside. He looked around the room with a frown. Cammy, your room is even messier than before. I know, but Daddy, I've lost Savannah's puppy. Cammy cried. Well, what do you think we could do to find it quickly? So we're not late to the party, Daddy asked. Clean my room, Cammy replied, feeling badly that she hadn't done it already. Cleaning your room can be overwhelming, Daddy said. Let's do one thing at a time. Together, Cammie and Daddy made her bed and put her hair bows into a dresser drawer. Why put Cammie's books on the bookshelf and her dolls in their drawer? As Cammie was putting feathers into a little bowl on her desk, she spied something sticking out of her drawer. Look what I found, she said triumphantly. Whew, you must be so happy, Daddy smiled. I don't like losing things, Cammie admitted, especially when they belong to someone else. Keeping my room clean will help me keep track of things. Cammie was proud. She had found Savannah's puppy and her room was finally clean. Is everyone ready to go? We're going to be late, Mommy called.
Yes, I cleaned my room and found Savannah's puppy. Cammy stopped and rummaged, uh, rummaged around inside of her pouch to show mommy. Oh no, she began to empty her pouch out and onto the yard. Not again, she cried. I don't want to miss this party. Didn't you just have it? Daddy asked. Cammy felt around inside of her pouch again. Got it, she exclaimed with a sigh of relief. Great, let's go, Mommy said. As they hopped to the car, Daddy tripped over some tools in the garage. Cammy chuckled. Daddy, maybe both of us need to keep our things more organized. You're right about that, Cammy. Daddy Kangaroo laughed. I think it's safe to say this whole family has too much stuff, Mommy said. Tomorrow we'll spend some time organizing. Now let's get ready to go to that party. The end. If you'd like to order Cam and Cameroo, I will um, share the link and the sites where you can go to order King, Cam and Kangaroo. Um, as always, please like, comment, and share. This helps my YouTube channel get passed around and just um, gets me more um, viewers. So um, thanks again, you guys. Have a great week and join me next week for my next book. And also keep your eye out for book two that I wrote. It's called The Little White Lie. I'm super excited and I can't wait. And I hope all of you are enjoying the many uh, indie author stories that I bring into life for all of the self-published authors out there important to um, support them so I will be increasing more authors as time goes on so thank you so much I've enjoyed this you guys have a great week love you be kind be nice and impact bye